I would love to introduce Mayor Dave Cheslovich. And we have another person that's coming up on the stage too. His name, you all know, he's been active in city politics since I believe it was 1968. Paul Soglin. Please welcome Paul Soglin, everyone. This is about unity. Madison stands together. All right, well. You guys look great. I was a little cold walking up here, but then I saw the palm tree and I felt great. I have a lot of favorite numbers, but I gotta tell you, for the last two weeks, my favorite number has been 14. Now, the organizers were a little nervous. Paul and I were a little late. Uh, I'll tell you why I was late. I was talking to our friends, the Metro Bus Drivers and the Teamsters Union. And we were talking about this budget and how it impacts the city of Madison. And how this governor, while he would cut our transit spending by 10%, increases road building by $400 million. But I told them that we are gonna fight this budget. We are not gonna just let it happen. And when we get through this budget, we get the improvements we need. When Madison comes together, we put together our 2012 budget, it is going to be the most inclusive city budget process we have ever had. Yeah. If Scott Walker wants to shut us down, if Scott Walker wants to close us down, it's not going to happen. If Scott Walker wants to pull us apart, we're going to pull it together. Now, Jesse Jackson stopped by yesterday to see us. And he said a lot of inspiring things. He said it may not look like it because we're so close, but from around the world, people are watching Madison, Wisconsin. And they're saying, and they're saying that we are winning. And he said this. While the battleground, ground zero, is Wisconsin, it's sending waves of hope around the whole nation. Keep those waves rolling. Keep up the fight. We will win. Hello, Wisconsin. This is not the 1960s. This is bigger. It's better. It is more energized. Three weeks ago today, a couple of hundred teaching assistants at the University of Wisconsin gathered at the steps of the Memorial Union a few days later, Madison teachers suddenly caught a cold. And look at us. In those three days, teamsters and teachers, nurses, police and firefighters, retired operating engineers, and students came together bigger and better than we did in 10 years. Just in three days, Governor Walker. We are held together by two shared values, fairness and trust. When, when the reporters came into Madison and they spoke about the atmosphere the joy, it was the joy as you looked at one another who you'd never seen before, 
and you knew the person next to you was someone you trusted. Governor Walker, join us and trust. Look, look at what we've already accomplished. State after state that was considering similar legislation, they're done. They've stopped. Something I learned about working people. Working people make a living to put food on the table, pay the bills, take care of their children. But they do great work because they want to be part of a team. And that's what public unions are all about. It's about being part of a team that does a great job. And when Governor Walker talks about pensions and health care, he never talks in comparing to salaries. And there's a reason he doesn't talk about comparing to salaries. Because for years, Wisconsin public employees took what little money was available in their health insurance and in their pension. And what Governor Walker does not want you to know is this. Here in Wisconsin, if you take the cost of all of our public employees at the state level, at the local level, the schools, the counties, the school districts, and you compare what all of Wisconsin pays for those salaries, we cost $1.1 billion less than the national average. Those are productive, dedicated employees of the people of the state. They're not your employees, Governor Walker. They belong to the people and don't break them because we, we will win.